To the pandemic, the U.S. reporting more than 782,000 new cases a day, staggering numbers. 99% of counties in the country are currently reporting high transmission, but there are maybe a sign of light at the end of the tunnel. Nationwide data on wastewater analysis shows promising indications the Omicron surge could be peaking. ABC's Zareen Shaw is in Inglewood, California, with the strain being put on the health care system. Zareen, good morning to you. Hey, good morning, Janae. Yeah, no relief in sight here yet. California's governor says the number of people in hospitals is expected to be more than during the peak of last year's surge. Over 1,600 people are being admitted into hospitals every single day here in California. And those high numbers are a trend that we are seeing throughout the country. This morning, hospitalizations in the U.S. climbing to alarming levels. Nationwide, more than 150,000 COVID-19 positive patients are in the hospital, a pandemic high. It's really bad. It um, came about real fast. Um, I thought it was COVID would be over, but after the holidays, it hit very hard. Infections rising in healthcare workers. We are seeing healthcare systems out there not bending anymore, but breaking. The healthcare worker shortage becoming dangerous at one California hospital, where affiliate station KABC captured half a dozen ambulances waiting to offload patients. Ambulances are required to sign their patient out to licensed personnel, to a, to a nurse. And so if there's no nurse to take the sign out, they have to stay with their patient. Pharmacies also feeling the pinch of an Omicron fueled surge. Walgreens saying because of the labor shortage and surge of COVID-19 cases, it had to adjust operating hours or temporarily close a limited number of stores. And CVS saying this is only happening in a tiny fraction of their stores. As cases skyrocket, states like Utah having trouble meeting testing demands. So not only do we have a personnel shortage, um, but there is a testing shortage. With the exception of some groups, Utah officials urging symptomatic people to stay home instead of getting tested. All over the U.S., the spike in positive cases prompting many schools to switch to virtual learning. Students in Chicago walking out of school. Protesting in-person learning amid the surge. Cruise ships have seen a 30-fold increase in cases over the last two weeks due to Omicron. Despite that, the CDC saying their guidance will become optional for foreign flag cruise lines operating in U.S. waters once it expires today. But the CDC did update their mask guidance, saying any mask is better than none. But masks that fit well, like N95s and ones you can wear constantly, are the best ones. And a new study with NBA players shows that some people might be able to transmit the virus more than five days after they test positive. Meanwhile, here in California, the cases are still climbing. But officials say the Super Bowl will still take place here at SoFi Stadium next month. Wit. At least some hopeful news for the football fans. Zareen, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.